think you should, we should all just talk to these guys. They showed a, a tremendous amount of heart. We talked about it yesterday. We didn't have to say a whole lot. Everyone knew what the mission was for today. And I think, now I know, when, when they showed up at the yard today, you could see a different look from each and every one of them. Confidence, raging, um, resiliency. He had a guy coming off a couple days rest going out there and striking out five to finish up the game. Um, you know, all of our pitchers did a great job. Jaron came out with great mentality, uh, sinking the ball down in the zone, firing guys up. It seemed like nonstop energy and push. And just, um, I couldn't be prouder of these guys at this moment when, you know, if anyone ever doubted their capabilities, you got a guy up here with, <laughs> a brace on his hand that hits the go ahead, go ahead run, who's just about as tough as they come. Um, and I, I'm just so proud of these guys up here and those guys in the clubhouse and how tough they are. Question. When was the last time you had uh, pitched in relief and have you ever picked up a save before? Um, in relief, it was probably Fort Worth last year and that didn't really turn out how we wanted it to. but. Um, I'd say that was the last time. And what was the other part of that question? Sorry. Have you ever picked up a save you know, at, at any level before? My freshman year, I did uh, the 13 games or whatever before COVID hit. I think I had one or two. But other than that, no. <clears throat> this, is a, this is a normal bullpen day for you? Yeah, yeah. it was supposed to be. Yeah. So it's kind of was, I mean, maybe Mitch could let you guys speak to that. Just Was that part of the plan? Just. Well, I mean, it's all hands on deck. You lose, you go home. So um, before the game started, I told him I was ready, and he knew that. So we were both on the same page in that matter. Jacob, saw some energy from you, you know, going a little bit of a slump, but especially after that home run when you rounded first. How did it feel? A couple of big hits, you know, bust out of that, helped your team to a big win, now get on to the Supers. Yeah, I mean, that was big. Um, obviously, struggled pretty mightily over the regional, didn't show up the way that I wanted to. Um, kind of let that affect me mentally last night. and. Um, Felt like today was just a big day to, to come out and, and break out of that and, and get back to just to being me. So, um, obviously that hit in the in the first was was big for the confidence, and then being able to put a couple more good swings on balls today was was really big for me. Um, obviously the homer helped the team out, um, but yeah, I mean just everybody top to bottom having good abs today just kind of really set the tone and it made it easier on everybody else. Are you dealing with a hamstring injury or any injury? No, it was just a little, a little sore down in, in Arizona. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy though. Getting tested like this uh, as you guys are pushing the break, how might that help you? Um, or... Yeah, I mean that's <clears throat> it's been a big thing for all for us all year. Um, we've had a lot of adversity and we've we've battled through a lot of stuff. And I think that's the biggest thing about this team is we have a lot of heart and we've we fought through a lot more stuff than most teams in the country. So I think that's something that's going to suit us really well down the stretch. Um, just being able to, to see it through and, and stick with us is, is something that's been really important for us. It's helped us out a lot this year. Matthew, can you lead us through your at-bat that you hit the home run just went with your mind when the ball hit the bullpen? Yeah, you know, I was just kind of, I just got into a two-strike approach and just wanted to put the ball in play. And the guy was doing a good job of getting in a lot on me. So that was kind of their, uh, their plan to get me out a little bit it was coming in and I just, Saw the slider down and I just went at it and it was a good feeling, that's for sure. Yeah. Did you think it was gone? <clears throat> I knew I hit it hard enough. I just didn't know if it had enough under it to get out over that fence. But as soon as I saw it, that was it was a good feeling for sure. And what was the reaction to the dugout? It went like crazy. <laughs> I was in the bullpen, so I heard the smack of the the bullpen roof. So that was that was fun. Yeah. Mitch to uh, to score the you know uh, the first run in the first inning. Kind of you know, state your presence early in the game after a loss yesterday. How big do you think that was to to, to make that first impression? Boyd crush it, and right at that moment, you get it's always a start. It's uh, put possibly the last game of the year, and going out there and it was something elevated. I believe it was a cutter, and he ripped it. He's got great hands. Um, putting us on the board right there. You know, you can exhale a little bit, and at the same time. Uh, that first guy's running through and chest bumping everyone. It, it, it just carries on to the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. Um, 
a, no doubt big momentum uh, right there out the gate because now everyone knows for the rest of the game, <clears throat> watch out for Boyd. He's on fire. He can turn stuff around. And then the next guy does it and the next guy. It's like um, <clears throat> I think one thing, you know, it was it? You took a 3-0 three, a three rip at mm -hmm. one on a heater and the next pitch is a breaking ball, uh, ball four. You know, showing that you're going to be ready 3-0. Okay, well, maybe we're not going to just lay one in there, too. So the guy's being present. Regardless of the count, uh, battling up on two-strike approach, we're seeing our guys, uh, whether it's Duke, Gret, or Dirty, down in the order right there, passing the baton, not even just passing the baton, working big at bats. Uh, Dernetti had a <clears throat> two-strike line drive up the middle, score some runs. That was huge. And, you know, he, I know, you know, he, he had missed a ball on a – uh, on a routine ground ball for him, but everyone was right there with him, picking him up. I know it, it can really drag you down, but he stayed with it, and he he had a great day at the plate. And other than you know that, he was present and he was ready to roll. Jacob uh, Bradfield took away extra base hits from, from you and uh, Travis uh, out there at the wall. After a play like that, uh, is that a pop? Are you feeling positive because you put a good hit on it, or is it just yeah? Believe I don't have more to show for this, or okay, the next time up, you hit it basically the same part of the park, just maybe ten feet further. Yeah, honestly, the way that I showed the first three games, I was just happy to hit a ball hard. Um, to be completely honest with you, um, the guy's a phenomenal athlete, so I really wasn't too surprised that he tracked that down. I mean, the guy absolutely flies. So, um, yeah, I mean. I mean, I think for me, the biggest thing was just taking confidence from, from getting a good swing off and, and squaring a ball up. So uh, that's really all I took away from that. Obviously, it would have been nice to just drive in a couple runs there. But um, I think kind of at that point in the game, it was we started barreling balls up off of off of their starter. And uh, I think we kind of just carried that through the lineup after that. Coach, what's your normal bullpen? Like, how many pitches do we normally throw on the Monday bullpen? 20 max. 20 you know, it's usually five to six of each pitch. Um, so here. and will you still be good to go Friday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel good right now. So yeah. I don't know about in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? For each of the players, Sabathia and Dernetti, how much has that changed your approach to the game and how you approach the game going forward? I mean. Playing in front of Goss, I mean, you could just see in those last couple innings, especially when Coop came in, getting those two sh two strike two or three strikeouts in the f uh, first inning, he came in, and it was just you know, with those fans, you want to keep you want to keep everything here. The road's got to go through Omaha to through Goss to go to Omaha, and that's what we want to just keep going. So, felt good. Like Gret said, they're the best fans in the world, and I know the last time I was in here, they asked me a similar question to. How special these fans, and I said it was the loudest they've ever been, and I think they broke that today. I mean, they were they were going crazy, and I love it. And like I said last time, it's absolutely surreal. Yeah, um, kind of add on to that. This place is special for sure. Um, coming in three years ago, the COVID year, um, could have only dreamed about how loud and how how many fans we get, especially for the postseason. I mean, it's it's a really special place, and and they show up and they they support us through through thick and thin. So. Uh, I think having the opportunity to come out and play play in front of them in a super regional is is really all we could ask for. So uh, I think we're all excited to to have that opportunity this coming weekend. What about Auburn? You guys probably don't know much about them, I assume. Just day by day. Yeah. yeah. Basically, scored 43 runs in three games. They competed with them, right? Yep. <laughs> what do you think of them as a team? <clears throat> I really haven't dug into them that much. You know, I, I, each week when we're whatever opponents we're facing, um, our analytics team, our coaching staff, we we jump on and start checking all of our resources and find out everything we can about them. We're going to start prepping for uh, next weekend um, here after a shower, you know, and <clears throat> planning out, making sure that we're prepping uh, on the field practice in the weight room, what we're going to be eating this week, when we're going to be resting. It's finals week. So we're going to take care of the classroom too, um, you know, just all the little things. And I think, you know, it's a big thing for these guys uh, today and tomorrow to get some good rest and recover, take care of their bodies, calm the mind a little bit, 
um, you know, and then when Wednesday and Thursday we'll get we'll get some good practice going. But um, that's one thing that you know we do. A good, I think we do a really good job with our coaching staff is diving into uh, our opponents and making sure we're well prepared. It uh, brings a lot of confidence on our end, knowing what the situations are and um, how to prepare our guys. But for them, it's going to be rest, recover, and make sure that we're, we're keeping our strengths our strengths. Um, and one of those biggest strengths these guys got is their heart. Did you speak more to that resiliency? Because from our perspective, you guys didn't lose back-to-back games until the last you know, week of the season. So <coughs> beyond Pac-12 and that, we didn't see a lot of that. Oh, sorry, will you say that again? The resiliency, you know, just the adversity that you guys face from our perspective, you just didn't face, you know. Right, right. and so uh, to that, and just if you guys want to add on this too, I think there's a lot of things that, you know, as a, as a very tight group, as a, as, a, as a family, you know, we keep a lot of things in-house. And as things are, you know, people get, um, go through hard times, you know, we, we, keep it, we keep it close. And there's a lot that people don't necessarily know about what these guys go through on a day-to-day basis. I mean, there's no doubt we are, we are very fortunate uh, here at Oregon State and this program and all the resources we have and everything. But... Um, <clears throat> whether or not a, a guy has some physical ailments or stuff going on at home or uh, difficulty in the classroom, whatever it may be, you know, we don't necessarily look at anything as, as, as hardship. There's some opportunity there, right? They love hearing me say that. No, it's a great opportunity to get better, you know, no big deal. But um, I don't think that we, we, don't, <clears throat> we don't like to complain. And so we don't necessarily bring it out front and start talking about any of the stuff that's going on too much. Not that there's anything crazy, but it's, you know, we, it's not just about one person. We care about the guy next to us. And when they go through a hard time, you know, we wear it with them. So, and you're right, <clears throat> hasn't been, we had that four game stretch, you know, of losing games, but it's, for us, it's not just about the game. Um, there's so much more to who these guys are in this program than just wins and losses. So <clears throat> if we're just talking specifically baseball, yeah, there's been a couple bumps here and there, but all in all, we care about you know, every little piece of these guys' lives.